Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Fudge Ratchet here. Sorry, it's been uh, about a couple, yeah, about a couple months since I've uploaded anything, or about a year. Uh, I just want to wish everyone a happy New Year's. And uh, today I have something that I bought a couple of days ago, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, so this is what it is. Uh, this is a brand new, never open copy of Defender for the Atari 2600 and I found this at a game store for like I think 20 bucks and I'm like I thought it'd be cool to open a um, a brand new game that's been like you know sealed away for like 30 40 years at this point and I was like you know I've never opened a brand new Atari game before and I know that some people it might be sacrilegious to open this, but you see the indent. I feel like just opening it up would just help from from just getting it crushed at this point. And uh, they're not pretty expensive. And I just thought, you know, twenty dollar investment. I just want to see what's inside. See, he's got the hang tap still. Sorry, let me just focus. Yeah, see, it's got the hang tab still. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty uh, popular game for the uh, 2600. It even comes with a uh, comic book, which I didn't know. So that's pretty cool. So uh, let's take a stab at it. All right, so uh, let's begin. So uh, not sure how to really go about this. Um, so I just, you know, I just got a screwdriver here. So sorry about that if it's... Probably not the best. Yeah, we just gotta, yeah, we go in. So I've been uh, collecting Atari for about, I would say about a year now. And uh, it's been a really fun system to collect for because there's so many different, um, you know, variations of games and uh, companies really and, uh, you know, developers really trying to push the system to its limit. And uh, I always think that's interesting with, uh, with that. And uh, if you guys want to see a video, of my of my collection uh, leave it in the comments below I'm gonna try to keep the plastic wrap on it but uh, if not then it's alright you know I'm not much of a sealed collector myself so this is pretty cool actually uh, first guy I mentioned the artwork it's, it's really awesome you know you know classic so you know yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's like really. Yeah, let's just take the wrapping off. Yeah, as you can see, the indents a lot better now. Yeah, because everything is like right up here and like there's nothing down here. That's what happens with a lot of Atari boxes sometimes. It's just like there's so much stuff up here and there's like nothing with crush boxes. So yeah. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Ah, there we go. It's awesome. So you can see the copy of Defender right there. Oh, sorry about that guys, uh, my camera was dying so I had to charge the uh, charge the uh, charge the battery for it but as you can see here's the game so let's just take that out yeah usually just over the time just artwork just you know the glue comes out from the from the bottom and kind of screws up the uh, artwork but you know still brand new copy it's pretty nice actually yeah let me just try to focus on that yeah as you can see that that artwork yeah the glue's coming up or it could be the glue I'm not sure but uh, it seems to be the glue that a lot of people say it is. But still, you know, yeah. Label looks good here. Ooh. 
This is the uh, Action Force. Uh, this is the DC comic that it comes with. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, you gotta love this. Here's the uh, here's the game manual and color and everything. I'm actually surprised because sometimes uh, a lot of games uh, they just have black and white uh, manuals, so I'm actually pretty surprised that it's in color. But uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. It's nice. And this is the Atari catalog, which is like, you know, other games you can buy. Actually, I have Superman on Atari. Yard's Revenge, a great game. Love this game. Pac-Man, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat, actually. I'm going to look through this a little bit more. So yeah. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually uh, test the card out and see if it still works. Uh, pretty sure it would, you know. So uh, yeah, let's go test it out. So, I'll be using a Retron 77. I actually do have a, uh, a modded Atari VCS, but I couldn't find the uh, correct uh, plugins for for this TV I'm going to be using. So, uh, yeah, let's just see if it works. And there we go. It works. Yeah, I'm not the greatest at this, but uh, it's a pretty good game, all things considered. Alright, I think that's enough for now, but, uh, yeah, the game still works fine, you know, after all these years. And, uh, you know, I want to thank everyone that still supports my channel, that subscribed, and, uh, I hope everyone has a happy new year. And, uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see my Atari, uh, Atari collection, uh, just, yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.